everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, you can't see it, but I got the axle out. And it took me, I tell you what, it took me like freaking, I don't know, close to an hour, maybe 30 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour to shovel all this shit out. I had to shovel this massive giant mountain to get the width of the axle to get the axle through and out. And it was an absolute pain. I can promise you it was an absolute pain in the ass. So yes, that means today we are finally getting the axle reinstalled in the truck, getting one step closer to this truck being back on the road. Now you may ask yourself, what does that mean for us? What does that mean for me? Also, hopefully the microphone's doing good today. Um, this sweatshirt's kind of high, so it's like really close to my chin. So I may be rubbing it. Hopefully not. I'm gonna try and focus on it and not get it to rub for you guys. But what does that mean for you guys? What does that mean for us? That we are getting this axle put back together, right? That's the magic question. What happens from here? Well, once I get this axle put back together, and once I get the truck back and running, we're going to go ahead. Oh no, watch out. And, uh, Do the rockers and cab corners. This is twice. Now I'm able to do the rockers and cab corners. <laughs> Ugh. I'm going to have to, I think that's close, take all the seats back out of the truck. I'm gonna take the, the interior out, not the headliner. I don't know, maybe, cause I'm taking the rear window back off again this summer. So maybe I'll drop the headliner, redo the headliner. Um, take the carpet out because I wanna do a vinyl floor interior or I'm just gonna rhino line it. I don't know yet. So what we have here is the U-bolts uh, from sdtrucksprings.com. Um, the bolt from the sdtrucksprings.com is a 15 16 I thought it was gonna be like a 24 millimeter, uh, but this one just fits a lot tighter, so I'm gonna roll with the 15 16 And then of course we've got our kryptonite beautifulness. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can see this glimmer in the summer. Summer. Oh, summer. In the su sunlight, but man, that is beautiful. I love this color. Seriously, this is going to look outstanding on the truck with the black. But we need these as well. So, ooh, I don't have grease. Um, I'm going to need to get some grease later, and I'll explain that in the video next. You know how I seem to not be able to win, you guys? <laughs> oh, I don't have the plates. So the top plate for the U-bolts uh, to actually sit on, on top of the leaf spring, I don't have that plate. Oh my goodness. Oh, so I'm gonna have to order that and we're gonna have to come back to this video. Oh my goodness, for like what, a fourth or fifth time? So I'm not cutting out to a different video. You guys will see me in a second here. The weather are probably gonna look completely different now. It is currently March 20, March 26 at 12.47 p.m. Um, so I'll be curious to see when this video picks back up and when I get those back in the mail. I was this close to being this excited to get this thing back together. Oh my goodness, the struggles, the struggles, the struggles. Why, 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 why? All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping by for the second time. Um, same video. I now have the part in stock right here. We've got this. This got sent in from trustyrockauto.com. Uh, not sponsored by no means. And these little plates. Da, 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 da. Oh, come on. Oh, hold on, I gotta check the box. So far I've got one. These are the plates, this is the plate I need. This is the plate I need. It sits on the leaf spring just like that. Your U-bolts go right on there. It helps line everything up. Um, there's a bolt that goes through your leaf springs, obviously. You line that up with the plate that is on your axle, along with this, and you put your U-bolts in. Works all perfectly. But, There's only one in this freaking package. There's only one in here. I know I ordered two. So, 
Luckily, it's only Saturday now, and I will be going to pick up the remaining one on the other side. But we're gonna go ahead, because I'm sick of this not working out, we're gonna go ahead and get at least one side install. Now, if you see here, I've got the jack underneath, um, and that is basically to do this. That lines me up. You can see here, let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. There you go. That lines me up and gets me more level in which what I need. Right here, I should really not be putting my finger in this. <laughs> but anyways, Jesus, I've already broken one finger. Right here is where the hole is that needs to line up with this bottom bolt here. You can see right up. You can see right up top here. That needs to line up so we can put everything together. So I'm gonna go ahead, put the one side together, and uh, then we'll go get some dinner, and I'll pick up another plate, hopefully from the local hardware store, or the local parts store. But I cannot, for the life of me, win. Also, I am wondering how the audio is doing right now, so if you could let me know in the comments below. Um, it's windy now, so I'm curious to see how the wind picks it up. What am I doing with this and this? So, little trip here. Trick, trip, trick, little trip, trick, oh my goodness. Little trick here for you guys up in the north that deal with a lot of salt and road brine that we deal with. Um, for your lower um, leaf spring plates for your, that go around your axle, your rear axle here. Trick is get marine, gear, marine grade grease and put that in this lower one and that avoids, um, that helps prevent that rust that builds up here in those U-bolts that tend to really, oh, excuse me, really rot away. It's kind of cold, so I'm gonna put my hood up. Oh, that's better. All right. Now this is definitely something that is, uh, tends to be really messy and tacky for sure, 100%, especially when dealing with um, marine grade grease because it's just it's it's just way, way more tacky than your typical grease that you see, like your high temp lube grease and all that kind of stuff. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. Uh, you're gonna wanna wear gloves, you're gonna want some hand wipes. Obviously I use some crocodile wipes here to clean up my hands and clean off the surface. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to use a lot more once we get these things installed. Yes, I'm aware that it's not the best looking thing in the world, but man, I can tell you right now that it helps out your leaf your your u-bolts a lot in the long run um, I know there is weep holes in here for it to you know kind of give out but unfortunately those weep holes don't necessarily work because they get clogged up all the time especially when things start to rust and things get and dirt and mud get in there and it never comes out trust me from experience it happens all the time especially with these boxed in style um, leaf spring braces or bolts or brackets or whatever you want to really call them. I don't know the technical term. Hopefully I can get you guys in nice and close here for this. Starting out, I'm gonna go ahead and put the upper leaf spring bracket on for the U-bolts. And each one at a time, I'm going to go ahead and get the U-bolts slid on. Now comes the fun part, especially because it's all Nice and wet out. So, yippee. All right, so at some point here, we shut off. Um, and I apologize for that. We've got it installed right now, uh, but unfortunately we're a little off. Let's see if I can get you guys. That's that spot right there, we're a little off on that hole. So now we gotta try and see if we can get it in the hole. Sometimes you just gotta kind of force it. Line up really well right there. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. All right, so now I'm gonna do a little narrating for you. So what I did is I moved the um, 
basically I moved jack the jack up a little bit to kind of level the axle out. And then I just kind of moved the axle back and forth just slightly and able to line up the hole for the bolt to drop in on the axle. Now, unfortunately, if you see here, my U-bolt up at the top where the leaf spring plate is came off. So then I had to do a little messing around to try and get that taken care of. Um, and it was definitely kind of a pain in the ass. So, but we at least got that side done and taken care of. We're going to now, I'm going to clean up. we go get some dinner, probably get some cousin subs because we've been craving it lately. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and run to AutoZone and get the part hopefully that I need. Hopefully they have it so I can finish up this side. So then we can go ahead and take care of the rest of everything we got going on in this truck. I got to redo the brakes. I've got to redo the e-brakes um, on the back. I want to redo those cables and I'll show you why um, in the next video as well. So I'll be back again. Well, that did not go as planned. We checked um, AutoZone, we checked Napa, we checked O'Reilly and Advanced Auto Parts and they all told me they don't carry it in stock and they said that it would be a special order item and they would have to order it from the dealer and they would take a week or so. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Unfortunately, I thought for sure I was gonna get this project done for you guys, but apparently shit just happens and we couldn't get it done. So um, we'll pick up with the next video the following week um, in the same spot. We'll go ahead and get the other side put on and then we'll also start adding our brakes back onto this truck. So stay tuned for Wednesday's video and I hope you guys enjoyed this asinine of a video of things just not working out because this has been a pure example of a three day process for a project that should have taken me maybe an hour, not even an hour, it's been a three day process just to get me to where I am now. And I'm nowhere, nowhere near being done right now. About 50% you could say, so great. All seriousness, you guys, this is a prime example of a project that you think is gonna take a, take, you know, a quick amount of time and it doesn't happen. So I always understand that when you do projects, it always doesn't go exactly how you planned pure example of that. Thank you for all the support. Have yourself a great night or day or afternoon.